In the summer of 1992, my friends and I shot a road movie on the streets of Singapore called Shirkers. And then 20 years or so later, I was contacted by somebody and they returned the film reels to me. And I saw the, the footage and I thought, we got to do something about this. It's just too precious. And just the story of the whole thing yeah. is stranger than fiction. So I did, a, I did a detective story, you know, telling the story of my, you know, life, I guess, um, pursuing, you know, this film project. And then as well as me being a detective as a grown up, you know, putting the pieces together again and solving the biggest jigsaw puzzle of my life. Did you know that um, it was going to be a documentary? At any point, did you think, oh, you know what, I could have made this into a feature even using sort of this found footage? It's so funny because a lot of people would look at the trailer and look at, or have seen the film, they're like, oh, they don't even think of it as a documentary. They, yeah. It just feels so strangely formed as a feature film that they're like, Oh, it's perfectly cast. The person who plays you is the young person. It's like perfectly cast. But it's me. It was me from like 25 years ago. So of course it's perfectly cast. What made you say yes to that? Okay, so I, I'm a realist and a pragmatist. I also wanted this film to reach the largest possible audience. You can see this on your computer or on your school's free account or whatever. And you, 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 can, you can hear me talking to you in your earbuds. And it's a very personal thing. When I was 18, the thing I wanted more than anything was to make a movie. I had the idea that you found freedom by building worlds inside your head. I mean, it's a coming of age film, not just of us, but of Singapore as well, because back then, 1992, before the internet was a thing, um, and some of us are old enough to remember that. Um, Singapore was just poised between a kind of a more relaxed Southeast Asian identity as, and then, you know, the global economic powerhouse. And, you know, it was at the fork in the road and it chose to go huge. And I feel pride in having seen that that was something special to capture. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad it did because everybody else now can see this thing and think that we actually lived in a very magical, really special place, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, don't take it for granted.